In this video, I will explain how the maximum likelihood estimation principle can be applied to estimate a logistic regression model. Our data are girls and the dependent variable is whether the, a girl has had a menarche or not and the independent variable is age. And we're feeding the logistic curve. So we can see here that when the girl's age is uh, close to 10, which is the minimum in the sample, uh, the, ex the predictive probability of, of menarche is about zero. And when the girl is 18, which is about the maximum of the sample, the predicted probability of Menards is about 1. And we want to estimate this logistic curve, how it goes, and it tells us the relationship between age and Menards. We apply the probability calculations to values that are 1s and zeros. That's the dependent variable. And to do that, we use the Bernoulli distribution. The idea of a Bernoulli distribution is that we only have ones and zeros and uh, in this example the zeros are twice as prevalent as ones and the population is always very large in maximum likelihood estimation because uh, when we take a sample of one, one zero or one, one away from the population the ratio of ones or zeros should stay the same even if we take a sample away from the population. The probability of getting um, zero is 67% from this sample and the probability of getting one is 33%. So when we have this set of observed values that are sample, we have seven zeros and two ones. They happen to be in this order by random. It doesn't have any significance or any meaning. And uh, we calculate the probabilities. Then we calculate the total probability by multiplying all these individual probabilities together. So when we know what is the, uh, what the population is, then uh, we know the probabilities of getting particular values from that population. In maximum likelihood estimation, uh, the population is not known, but we have to estimate what is the effect of age on men arch in the population and what's the base level. And uh, so we, talk, we don't talk about probabilities, we talk about likelihoods. So the idea of maximum likelihood estimation is that we try to find a, a population that has the maximum likelihood of having had, having produced these values here. So we don't know what the mean is or what's the ratio of ones and zeros. We only know the data and we assume that the model, ex model exists in the, for the population. Then we calculate, uh, we, we have some guesses for this, uh, this ratio. And then we calculate likelihoods, we calculate the cumulative likelihood and we maximize the cumulative likelihood to find the maximum likelihood estimation by changing our, our model parameters. So uh, for example, we could guess that uh, the ratio is, is 2 to 7. That gives us probabilities of 78% and 22% for zeros and ones. We calculate the cumulative probabilities and uh, or we multiply everything together and this is the likelihood of the sample given our, our estimated population. The maximum likelihood estimate is simply uh, found by changing the, our guess of the ratio of ones to zero, ones and zeros so that this value here becomes as large as possible. This principle is applied to uh, the logistic regression analysis. The idea is that we calculate using this logistic curve and this age here and the known ages and the known Menard status of these girls. We calculate the, the individual likelihoods for the observations and then we use those individual likelihoods to find uh, the best possible logistic curve for the data. How it works in practice is that we uh, have some kind of guess. So we guess that uh, Menard is a, a linear function of age and an intercept transformed using the logistic function. So uh, let's say that the intercept is minus 20 and the effect of age is 1.54. We apply logit function to the linear prediction and then we calculate. That gives us the, the uh, expected probabilities. Then we check how likely the, uh, that particular observation is given the fit that probability. So for example, uh, the first girl here is 13.6 years and she has had Menards. The linear prediction for that girl using this equation here is 0 0.94. Then uh, the fitter probability using the logistic uh, function to this linear prediction is 73.6%. So uh, 
if the probability is 73.6% and the girl has had Menards, then likelihood for that observation is 73.6. Then we move on to the next girl, so that's 11.4 years and she has not had Menards. The linear prediction is minus 2.44, so it's calculated using this equation here. And uh, we apply logit, logit function, gives us 8% predictive probability because it is there, it's only 8% probable that this girl would have had Menards given her age and she didn't, then the likelihood for this observation is 1 minus 8%, which is 92% uh, here. We do that calculation, we calculate the likelihood for all the girls and that gives us the product 6.4%. For computational reasons, we don't typically work with these raw likelihoods uh, and multiply them together. Instead, we work with logarithms. So we calculate the logarithm of the likelihood called the log likelihood for each individual observation. And we take a sum of these log likelihoods and that gives us the full log likelihood of the sample. And we adjust the values of intercept and values of age or the, or the coefficient for age to make this full sample log likelihood as large as possible. In practice this is almost always a negative number so we try to make it a closer to zero or a smaller negative number. 